Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I want to thank you all that stopped by the video yesterday and um, viewed it and said a prayer for Country Girl and for myself as well. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know, after I got through with that video, as the evening went on, my head was pounding. It was terrible. I ended up having to get the ice pack and put on my head because they say using an ice pack it's supposed to shrink the blood vessels and help relieve the pain. Um, I took some ibuprofen and I laid down to try to go to sleep. It took me a right good while before I could. But anyway, um, I told y'all that I wanted to make this bread and it was a no need beer bread and um, I added two things to the recipe. So go get your apron. I need some help in the kitchen. It's always nice to have y'all come along and um, watch. Anyway, the things you'll need for this recipe is um, some self-rising flour, uh, some sugar, your bottle of beer, uh, your bottle of beer of choice, some cheese, and some chives. My dad had given me a chive plant that he has had at his house. He cut it in half, sent me part of it over here, and I planted it up front in a pot. And uh, so I went out there and I cut me off a little bit of that. And I didn't measure the chives and I didn't measure the cheese. I just cut what I thought would be enough and I threw it in. So let's get in there and make this bread. Okay, for this bread, we're going to do three cups of self-rising flour, a half of a cup, let's get Tim's sugar spoon out, <laughs> that's his coffee sugar spoon, y'all, a half of a cup of sugar, dump that right in. I'm going to stir the flour and the sugar up before I add the cheese and all in there. Okay, now I'm going to put the cheese and the cheese and the chives in here. I just like to give everything a stir when I add it in. You don't have to. It's just, I guess I OCD about stuff like that. Okay, now the main ingredient for this bread. Beer, y'all. <laughs> Use whatever beer you like. Y'all know you've seen me. This is what we like. So this is what I've got. Just pour. It calls for 12 ounces. Pour your bottle carefully in. Y'all, Tim about had a fit when I told him I was using his last bottle of beer to make bread. <laughs> okay, make sure your oven is preheated to 350. Go ahead and get your pan to cook this in. <clears throat> And just fold it over. Don't don't stir too hard. Be very careful and get it all mixed up. And when you're baking this, you're going to set your timer for 45 minutes. You can start checking it at 30 minutes. And about 45 minutes, you're going to get you some butter. And we're going to spoon some butter up there and let it cook for a little while longer. It's just about mixed up. I still see a little flour on the bottom. Dig that up there. Get it all mixed in. Good. Okay. 
that's it, y'all. All right, I've got my Pyrex loaf pan. I'm gonna dump it in here. Kind of spread it out. I'm going to spread mine more to the outside edges because a lot of times in the center it rises. So I'm going to try to go ahead and push it to the outside edges more. Okay, that's good, y'all. All right, we're going to the oven for about 45 minutes, and we'll see you when it's done. Okay, the buzzer went off, so I've taken the bread out, and I've got it down here. I'm going to put you down to the bread. I've got some butter melted, and I'm just going to spoon over the top, and I'm out of toothpicks. So I'm going to use this and stick it down there and see if anything comes up. That way I'll know about how long I need to really finish um, baking this bread because that butter is going to brown it more and I just want to not overcook it. So let me put you down here. Okay, here is the bread. Let me go ahead and do this first before I start adding the butter. Can y'all hear it? <laughs> it's really crunchy. Okay, it come out with nothing on it, so it won't take long to cook this and let it get good and brown on the top. And you notice it didn't rise in the center, so make sure you do like I did and spoon it all to the outside edges. Okay, I'm going to go throw this back in the oven. Five or ten minutes probably is all it's going to take. So we'll be back when I get it out and it's cooled and hopefully I've got it out of this dish when I bring you back. I hope it doesn't fall apart. Alright, here it is. It's been out of the oven. I've let it cool for a little bit. It is still warm, but not smoking hot. I'm going to sit it down here, attempt to cut it and add some butter to it, and we're going to give it a try. So let's go check it out. What you think? Looks pretty good, don't it? So I got the crunchy piece. Let's add some butter. I know it's not keto, so you keto people, button it. I did this for Tim. He still has to have his bread, and I have to sample it to make sure that he's going to be okay when he gets ready to eat it. <laughs> All right. Here it is, y'all. It really smells good. It doesn't taste bad. Not bad at all. I hope he likes it. Me personally, 
This bread is kind of sweet. I don't care. Hmm. It's okay, don't get me wrong. I would try it if I were you. I'm not trying to sell you any bread, so, you know. Me personally, I like bread. It's like a sourdough bread. Or something like that. This is okay. It'll pass. We'll see what Tim thinks when he tries it. It was really easy to make. Give it a try. See what you think about it. I mean, shucks, look. It's a pretty loaf of bread. It's a really pretty loaf of bread. You can do this. Just the flour, the sugar, and the beer, and that's it. You could add raisins in there and nuts, I think. You can do different things to this particular bread. So anyway, when Tim gets home, I'm going to cut a piece and let him try it. And uh, I'll be back shortly. Hey guys. We, hey guys! <laughs> we've made it back. Y'all, it's, it's still been a rough day for me. You know, I've been telling you how bad I have felt. Yeah. And oh. I feel like... Poor Amy girl, I don't feel good. I yeah. feel like I have this big cloud or something over me right now. Tim's been taking care of it this afternoon. Just tell y'all. Really? Hmm. Well, in the morning, you can punch the clock. I'll stay at home and pretend like I'm sick. All right. I'm just saying. Okay. So, Tim is sorry, going... Sorry you feel bad, baby. For real. <laughs> okay. Tim's going to do the taste test on the bread. Oh, hi, y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? I ain't been up here much. Mm, I like taters. Taters like me. Okay, I've already put the butter on the bread, and I did heat it up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to let you sample it. Here you go, Tim. All right, Tim. Here we go, people. Drum roll. <laughs> dum, dun -dum. Dun -dum, dun -dum, dun -dum. dum dum dun dum dun dum and what did Tim say to me? Why do you always have to put cheese in everything? Never heard of bread and cheese. Plus it's a grilled cheese. He don't get out too much, y'all. Plus it's a grilled cheese. Now, you, you say whatever you want to about that bread, because this is the first time I've made it, and you can say whatever you want to about it. I, I'm, I like to be truthful with my people. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. <coughs> Hello. I don't want any. Tell no. Tell the people about the bread. Oh. Well, go ahead and eat. I'll talk to them, y'all. When, when you get in your garden, and I've missed. I didn't get out there yesterday. I don't think it was yesterday. I can't remember. I think I got one squash out yesterday, and then yeah, because I had mowed grass, I went and got one squash, and then I got to feeling so bad. <sighs> Guess what I forgot. Or I missed seeing, rather. It's a jalapeno. Jalapeno on a stick! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this... <laughs> Look at this big... You know what in zucchini. <laughs> this thing is... Uganic! <laughs> uh, it's actually like, a jalapeno. It is not. We're just messing with y'all. Pretty dang. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet eating my bread. I wanted to show you. We went out there. Tim got home and he, he, um, oh, I feel so, ugh. sorry, y'all. I was having a moment. She, she came here almost. Yeah. No, I feel nauseous and I, it just gets me every once in a while. 
<laughs> no. Anyway, Tim got home and he had to work on our air conditioner in the living room. It was dripping water out of it as it was running, so he went and got the air gun and blew the air conditioner out and around the coil and in the bottom and got the um, the hole there unplugged. Drainage. The drainage <laughs> unplugged. Anyway, so now it's fine. Da, 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 it's fine. Da, da, da. So he got the air conditioner fixed. And we went outside and sat in our chairs and looked at the garden and my little birdhouse gourds, the plants, they're coming up. They're they're coming up in stages, and I planted them all at the same time. And I've got four. I think it was four of those that have come up. And um, I've never done birdhouse birdhouse gourds. I don't know nothing about them. And so it's an experiment. My friend at Two Family Homestead, Sherry, she had sent me some loofahs seeds and I planted them and it was seven. And I had sent her a message and told her, look, this is all that come up. And I think it was three, but I can't remember. Every one of them come up. And if y'all remember, I have these big tree pots. Tim had got me from where he worked somewhere. And there were huge, those huge black pots that are kind of painted white on the outside. And anyway, I had them planted in a circle. And I had, I think, three come up. They're about like that right now. And then the others on the other side come up. So he's got the... <laughs> I didn't know that they all were going to come up. So now he's got to make me a trellis in a circle or something so they all can a hard working man <laughs> so they all Job can grow up done. there I told y'all should take out the average fella good thing I ain't average just saying <sighs> alright so I've talked about a little bit of the garden and I'll save the rest for later because this is supposed to be about the bread oh bread I also so did you like the bread what uh, people let the plate Speak for itself. And the crumbs go everywhere. Damn! That's so good bread, it even stays on the plate. Nah, I'm good. But yeah, no, nah, it was really good. Especially for your first time. Good job, girl. See, that bread really looks good. It, and it's crunchy on the top. It's hard, y'all. <laughs> it really tastes good, too. It, I mean, it, it's hard, but it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to beat my bread. <laughs> and um, beating my bread is not the way it had it. a good flavor. Yeah, it really did. It was good. And you just didn't put enough butter on. I put a lot of butter on it. I did. I did. So anyway, y'all heard me I like when I did my taste test. What I thought about it. I like butter. I didn't tell him nothing. He wanted to know before I cut the video on, and I wouldn't tell him because I wanted him to have his own opinion. About well, this in my bread. opinion, anyway, chicky. So I, I'm still going to go with taters. The spread is fine. Chicken cheese burritos. I rather have a sourdough bread. You don't make sourdough bread yet. Just I saying. used to make the rolls. Thank you. I very said much. yet. You said bread. I ain't said nothing about no rolls. Whatever. All right. Well, um, y'all, it's been a long day. I'm going to go sit down and try to find nothing to do. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just saying. I've been I've been missing a couple of these videos here. I've been trying to keep up with things. Old Amy Haynes been feeling good, to be honest. I don't and, feel good right now, y'all. Honestly, note, I've got a smile on my face. She actually feels pretty good to me. But you know what I'm saying. She really don't feel good. And I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna give her a break the rest of the night. I'm gonna stop hounding on her. And I just wanna tell y'all, love y'all, man, miss all y'all. Appreciate it. everybody that gets up here. Y'all you know, don't see me much, uh, but I'm here and I'm seeing your comments and I'm loving the interaction and things that she's at. And 
I want him to do what she wanted to do. You know how it is. Uh, love her to death. I hope she feels better. If she lies to y'all about how she feels, I'll tell y'all. Trust <laughs> me, I will. And Mr. Andy, I hope your surgery and stuff goes okay. And, and Miss CG, uh, yeah, I hope them dogs don't bug you no more. And, and I hope you get okay. Love y'all. Mean it. She said she felt a little better today, but she was resting. And and and, yeah. and for everybody else that we have, subscribers and all that, we greatly appreciate y'all coming aboard with us. And hey, roll with it. Let life be life. Let's be good to each other. Be a piece of chance. Love y'all. Mean it. Gotta go. Alright y'all. Y'all have an awesome rest of your day. I pray tomorrow... Y'all have a good evening. Is that better? Y'all have a good evening. Y'all settle in for the night. Love you too, baby. I love you too, Timmy. Don't want to do nothing. I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just jiving. Just jiving. He's a mess. I'm too tired anyway. He's a mess. I anyway, I pray that <laughs> I feel a little better tomorrow and um, I can get up here and do a video because I want to show y'all something and it's, it's it, it, I'll, I'll let you know about it tomorrow if I feel good. And to all our subscribers, everybody be safe. A lot of crazy things in the world going on. Be safe. Y'all, if we can help y'all anyway, y'all tune in. We're here. If we need y'all, y'all know we're going to ask a question. Because Miss Amy ain't scared to ask. They know I'm going to ask. Love each and every one of y'all. want y'all to know that. Appreciate everything y'all do. Appreciate everything we hear from you guys. All your input, output, side put, left put, right put. You know how it is. Just, just, we just appreciate y'all all the way around. And I know every time I get up here, it seems like I'm saying I appreciate y'all. Because I'm always not up here. So I gotta let y'all know that just because I ain't up here, I mean, Miss Amy keeps me informed about everything. Love her to death. Love you, babe. Y'all be safe. Love y'all. We'll see you on Love the next video. Bye now. Dee.